Here at home, of course, the economy was one of the big issues that drove voters to the polls, fueled by lingering concerns over mm -hmm. those high prices, the battle against inflation. Let's bring in NBC senior business correspondent Christine Romans. Christine, good morning. Good morning. Look, mm -hmm. the numbers might say inflation is back down to 2% or yep. in a manageable. People aren't voting that way. No, in the mood of the country, it's very clear. They are sick and tired of higher prices. And, and really, it turns out in the light of the day uh, after the election, it was really Donald Trump's election to lose on the issue of the economy. When we ask people, you know, what your financial situation is compared with four years ago, an astonishing 45% said it is worse off. That is the highest number of worse off that we've seen in five election cycles, presidential election cycles. It's even worse than the Great Recession, which was a really damaging time for the overall American economy. The overall American economy right now is fine. This, this president inherits a solid U.S. economy, mm -hmm. but still big unease about inflation. And then you ask about in the last year, has inflation caused you and your family a severe hardship or a, hard, a moderate hardship? 75% said yes. That mm. is a huge, huge number. A lot of people are waking up this morning. We have a new president-elect, and they're looking at the stock market to see how does that look. It's looking pretty good this morning. It's booming. You mm -hmm. already had stocks hitting record highs. You had stocks up 50% under Joe Biden. They were up 60-some percent under Donald Trump his first term. They are up big time right now. Look at the Dow Jones Industrial Average. 1,385 points is what is forecast to open higher here today. NASDAQ up big, too. When you look at small cap stocks, these are small companies. Those stocks are even doing better. The idea here is if Donald Trump has control over Congress, he would be able to slash regulations in a way that would allow a lot of these small companies to cut their costs and to make products or sell things much more cheaply. And so that is good for their investors. So investors this morning are, are cheering. You've got Tesla stock up. The the idea that Donald Trump's not a big fan of EV subsidies and investments. So if he guts all of that, that's good for uh, Elon Musk because he has the scale. He's the biggest player in town. So gutting some of those investments in the Inflation Reduction Act would be good, ironically, for um, the biggest EV maker. And Bitcoin cryptocurrencies are up big today, too. Oh. The idea there'd be less regulation there. Again, tariffs, less taxes, less regulation. That's been sort of the mantra of the Trump administration. We'll see what happens as we go forward. This is still just the morning after. And also, I will caution that the day after a big event, sometimes things are overdone in the stock market. Mm -hmm. The stock market goes up and then it can correct a little bit. But at least this morning, um, there are big moves in the dollar, in bonds, in, in just about everything. Again, just like Richard Engel said, this is the biggest story in the world right now in terms of money. Chris. Hey, thanks for watching. Don't miss the Today Show every weekday at 11 a.m. Eastern, 8 Pacific on our streaming channel, Today All Day. To watch, head to today.com slash all day or click the link right here.